I'm so tired. I'm so tired of us girls always nitpicking every little thing in our bodies. We nitpick our eyebrows. We nitpick our skin complexion. We nitpick our nails, the shape of our lips, our eyelashes, our skin. Oh my god, it's just so it's just so never ending. And by the way, for the uh, Tagalog girlies and men out there. <laughs> Okay, I'll try to speak in English because I feel like I'm going to understand a lot of people. I know, I'm struggling a little bit, but I will try. I will try my best. Okay, so yeah, it's just so tiring. It's just so never-ending. And by the way, it's been like uh, three times this week that I've heard some random girl say something bad about her body in a girl's bathroom, in a mall. And there was this one girl yesterday. Uh, she's very beautiful. She's voluptuous. She's uh, full figured, and she has this uh, short, cute hair with like little pink color braided things on on her hair. But that's sobrang sobrang ganda niya. And she said, ah, na. In English, that means ah, I'm so fat." And I'm like, "Oh my God." What is this? I mean, okay, don't get me wrong. I also have those days. I also have those days where I see myself as, you know, very ugly or like, you know, those uh, random normal days where a girl feels ugly. And I also have those days. Actually, I cannot say to myself right now that I say bad things about myself right now because I really, really worked hard on myself. And I know to myself that words are very powerful and I cannot I cannot say things like that to myself anymore because I know that those words will manifest on me and I'll just you know I'll just manifest good things in my life I'll just okay in the morning I tell myself in front of the mirror there's a mirror here I tell to myself Lee ganda ganda mo, oh my god <laughs> I mean, I tell that to myself every day. I know it sounds crazy to some people, but who's gonna, you know, who's gonna pull myself up? Just myself, because I'm just alone. And uh, yeah, I tell myself in the mirror every day how beautiful I am, how, uh, how lucky I am to be alive, how beautiful my hair is, even if it looks like you know, super duper big in the morning because my hair is very, very curly and frizzy. But I tell to myself that, you know, you're beautiful. Yeah, and uh, I also tell to myself how lucky I am to have peace of mind, how lucky I am to be a master manifester because I am really practicing that, you know, core self-love every day to myself. And yeah, uh, even though I want to tell you guys that, you know, before uh, I really am that really of a bad person to myself. Yeah, I cannot say that to you anymore because I'm not that girl anymore. And I know it's normal to be, you know, to have those kinds of days. Most especially on, on our period. I also get that, but you know, I... Uh, I just meditate and I journal and uh, I talk to myself to just be kind to myself to just be patient with myself and whenever I get pimples or whenever I see myself you know trans transforming yeah I transform we transform every month because we have periods right so whenever I see myself like you know I'm kind of bloated or yeah whenever I get uh, what you call this breakouts every month I tell to myself that it's okay, Lee. Uh, you're just going through a phase, and it's not. You know, I'm not downplaying what I feel. I'm not. I'm not downplaying what I feel. I just accept what I feel, and I accept that it'll pass. I accept that it's just a phase, and yeah, it, this is just a random download, guys. I mean, this has been. You know, every time that I see someone I see a girl and I hear that you know she says some random bad stuff about 
her body about herself, you know, it just really breaks my heart. It just breaks my heart because we are so beautiful. And I'm gonna tell you a short story. Uh, there was this one time wherein I went with my sister and uh, some of my friends to a Korean spa. So if you have been to, to a Korean spa, uh, you know what you'll see. <laughs> you know what you see. It's uh, very liberating because in a Korean bath, you'll be uh, you'll be very exposed. <laughs> you'll be very exposed because uh, it's uh, required to be full on naked in a Korean bath. So it was my first time. It was my first time to go to a Korean bath, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Of course, uh, I, I got surprised at all. Naguro talaga ako kasi parang hindi pa ako nakapunta sa ganun. And uh, for me, it's very eye-opening. It's very liberating. And I saw all these women naked. And I'm also naked. And yeah, of course, my sister is naked because we should... I, I mean, it's required to be naked there. And you know what, guys? This is what I realized. Talking about the Korean bath full of women. We are like sirens. That's what I saw. We are like sirens from a fairy tale book. We are like mermaids. Oh my god, the way the way we wash our hair, the way we dip our skin, the way we talk to each other. It's oh my god, it's like so perfect. Para siyang ano eh, para siyang painting. It's like a painting of, you know, basta sobrang ganda talaga. We are so beautiful. Uh, and of course, all of, uh, I mean, the girls there, including me, have different, you know, shapes and sizes. And all of us are beautiful, even if we have different shapes and sizes. We have different shapes and sizes of boobs, of our tummies, of our legs and everything. As in, guys, if you observe all these wonderful women, and you're gonna see how beautiful we are. You're gonna see how, you know, how they... Uh, draw us before in like uh, fairy tale books or in paintings, realistic paintings, in uh, what you call that, in sculptures and everything. That's your. That's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see how beautiful and perfect we are. All shapes and sizes, uh, our different complexions, our different features and everything. How we speak, how we laugh how we move our bodies so so perfect uh, how do you call this it was so picturesque that was the most picturesque thing that i've ever saw in my life no joke you guys and yeah i just realized how powerful and magical we are we all are even men so yeah i just want to share you these thoughts that you know uh, it's really just so yeah it's very normal of course but uh, as a woman who's in her 30s I'm 34 and uh, I can say that I have been through a lot most especially with myself with my mental health uh, with my emotions and everything oh my god guys <laughs> oh, I've been through a lot and I have fought some inner battles and demons and everything with myself and of course on how I look and everything on how I feel on how I think spiritually mentally emotionally physically I have really fought hard for myself for that child in me to just you know uh, I really fought hard to love her love her fully and be patient with her so yeah i really just want to tell you right now whoever's watching this that you are beautiful you are beautiful i promise you that sobrang ganda mo talaga ang ganda ganda mo talaga maganda in tagalog me i mean maganda in english means beautiful you are beautiful oh my god your aura your energy is so beautiful and in the morning uh, by the time you wake up okay this is my tip for you guys whenever you wake up uh, you face the mirror and you tell yourself how beautiful you are you tell your you're uh, you're gonna uh, save this uh, in the present tense okay so 
this is an example because there's a mirror here. Okay, it dito na lang. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to this uh, mirror because there's a mirror out there. Okay, this is how I um, talk to myself every morning or actually in the middle of the day something or kahit ilan nyo pag gustong sabihin sa sarili nyo. Ayun. So, this is uh, how I talk to myself. Lee, you're so beautiful. Oh my God. You're so beautiful. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you telling yourself before that you are not beautiful? You are beautiful. Um, I am grateful. I am grateful that I have this beautiful face, this beautiful figure, this beautiful complexion, this beautiful skin. And I am thankful of how peaceful my soul is. I am so thankful how beautiful my soul is. I am so thankful how peaceful my mind is. I am so grateful how beautiful this day is. I am so grateful for my family, for my loved ones, for my friends, for the people that I have met, that I have just met, for the people uh, that I will just meet. Uh, I'm so grateful for every experience and I am so grateful for being love okay love isn't just romantic love for another person love is you you are love mm, and oh my god guys oh uh there was this one time that i realized or actually because i really really worked hard on myself uh, it's really just beautiful when i realized that i am love and you are love that's the highest frequency ever so you don't need any love from the outside i mean outside of you but of course if there are people who's gonna add that love onto you then why not but you yourself is love you are enough you are beautiful as you are and when you tell yourself that every day, uh, I mean, all of those things that I told to myself, when you incorporate that to yourself and when you tell yourself beautiful thoughts and beautiful words to yourself every day, you're gonna see it because you can create your own reality. And yeah, we hear this every day right now in TikToks and you know, in videos and everything. But it's true. It's really, really true. You can change your reality now. You can change how you see yourself now and how you think of yourself now. Because how you think, that's what you'll see. How you think, that's the reality that you will see. So if you want to change your reality now, you can change it, right? So yeah, basically, uh, I really want to, you know, tell you more about this, but let's start with this. Yeah, let's really start with this and let's stop nitpicking ourselves. Let's stop nitpicking every little thing, every millimeter, every centimeter part of our body. Let's stop it. Okay, let's stop it and let's just accept ourselves. And if you want something to be improved, then improve it and enjoy improving it um that's one of the most important thing if you want to like improve something in your life i'm also going through something like this right now if you want something to improve don't forget to enjoy because that's the um the feeling that you want to embody if you are going through some changes if you are you know if you are uh what you call this embodying something new right so just enjoy do not pressure yourself do not um, nitpick yourself more and don't be too hard on yourself just be patient with yourself so yeah you are beautiful remember that and don't ever ever forget to talk to yourself beautifully and kindly you are your own best friend I promise you that guys you are your own best friend whenever you are going through something just hug yourself <laughs> I do that to myself like 
Lee, it's okay. Okay, you're going through something. Just be patient with yourself. Okay, it's okay to talk to yourself. It's okay to like have a good conversation to yourself. That's what we do when we journal, right? Uh, we talk to ourselves and whenever I journal, uh, I have this prompt like, um, hmm, how do I say this? Uh, there's this two prompts that I do in a journal, uh, mostly every day or mostly every other day. First prompt is, what are you feeling right now? So I, uh, I put that like, uh, I feel kind of sad right now because blah, 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 blah. And uh, the other prompt next to that is, what are, what is your uh, advice to yourself? So you're gonna give advice to yourself. And you're gonna give an advice to yourself that, like you're giving an advice to your best friend. And actually, you are giving an advice to your best friend, which is yourself. So yeah, I'm gonna, I really just wanna talk about these things uh next time let's see on how we can incorporate fashion into this because you know fashion is really my thing and yeah fashion is the second layer of our skin and um it's really just gonna you know make ourselves uh radiate more love and brightness and more gold <laughs> radiation into our lives more and more and more so um yeah i'll try to incorporate it but uh yeah i think this is one of the most important things that i want to uh, talk about to you guys so yeah i'm just going round and round in circles i'm so sorry about that but yeah i really hope i helped you right now if you're going through something right now it's okay i am here for you and you are here for yourself remember that you are here for yourself talk to yourself like you are talking to your best friend talk to yourself very kindly with patience with grace and with gratitude and um, uh, don't be shy to ask the universe for help so yeah i hope you are uh, happy right now and i hope that you are full of love right now and you are beautiful and you have the most beautiful aura that i have ever seen you radiate the best energy okay so yeah guys um <laughs> i'll see you soon and uh, i think okay i did not forget anything so yeah i'll see you soon and i love you so much bye